Creating higher lows here in the short term is a good sign, but it really doesn't mean anything until we get above 7,800 and we get a clear break above this region. If Bitcoin breaks above 7,800, then we would be breaking above previous resistance in this previous support zone, which is right now acting as resistance. At that point, that's a clear break above previous market structure. And at that point, we could actually be looking to make some real pushes to the upside. And of course, for the bears, what they need to see is Bitcoin, you know, break up, break below this upward sloping support right here and break below 7,300. And this could actually initiate, you know, continued lower highs in the market and potentially more lower lows for Bitcoin. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Kevin Svensson here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin did actually get a bounce today and created one of the first major higher lows on the daily chart that we've seen in quite some time. So let's just hop into the homepage here of CryptoWatch looking at the asset card list. Most coins are coming out of the red right now following Bitcoin to the upside. If Bitcoin can maintain above this current breakout zone, then this could actually be initiating at least a short-term reversal for the crypto market. And for those of you who have signed up with the CryptoWatch platform, go ahead and click that link below and fill out this questionnaire, charting must-haves. The developers wanna know exactly what you think uh, CryptoWatch must have on the platform. So click that link below, fill out this questionnaire, it doesn't take very long, and leave some feedback for the developers so they can, you know, of course, continue to improve the CryptoWatch platform. And I do have a link below for a trading tutorial on how to get started on the CryptoWatch platform and execute trades. Now guys, let's get right into the Bitcoin analysis. Right now I'm looking at the four hour chart. Since November 22nd, we have seen the creation of an inverse head and shoulders pattern. And this was an indication of, of a potential reversal. We broke above the neckline here and got that reversal. Bitcoin actually ranged up to about $7,800 before getting rejection back down to that previous resistance zone. So as of right now, we are making bullish progress. It's slow progress, but Bitcoin is making progress right now the bulls are definitely going to want to hold above this previous uh support box here we definitely don't want to be seeing the price pull back into this support zone uh this would sort of negate this pump that we just had if we go to the 30 minute chart we can see that this pump took place extremely fast uh you know ranging right through this support box and right up to our previous resistance zone creating higher lows here in the short term is a good sign but it really doesn't mean anything until we get above 7800 and we get a clear break above this region if bitcoin breaks above 7800 then we would be breaking above previous resistance in this previous support zone which is right now acting as resistance resistance at that point that's a clear break above previous market structure and at that point we could actually be looking to make some real pushes to the upside and of course for the bears what they need to see is bitcoin you know break up break below this upward sloping support right here and break below 7300 and this could actually initiate you know continued lower highs in the market and potentially more lower lows for Bitcoin. Now let's just take a look at the higher time frames for Bitcoin here. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Again, guys, I'm more focused on the long term here. And right now the weekly chart does not really indicate um, any major reversal just yet. There is no major reversal signal on the weekly chart for me right now. Uh, we're still below the 21 week EMA. For me, getting above the 21 week EMA is gonna be a major bullish sign. So right now, you know, what the, the last thing the bulls wanna see at this point in time would be Bitcoin ranging above the 21 EMA, the 21 week EMA and actually just getting rejected along this level, right? This is the last thing the bulls wanna see because this would indicate that we're looking for, you know, a consolidation before a potential breakdown towards the 200 week moving average. And that is where we're gonna be finding our long-term support most likely for Bitcoin if we can't get above the 21 week EMA, which would be a retest closer to the 786 Fib retrace. Now, a strong bullish indication on the weekly chart would be, you know, closing this weekly candle bullish, uh, staying above the golden retrace zone, actually maintaining above the 618 golden retrace, right? If we can maintain above this level, push off this level and start to build along the 21 week EMA, you know, get the some, you know, whether, you know, whether that means we get some sideways action above it, you know, going into 2020, this is pretty standard for Bitcoin guys, pretty standard for Bitcoin to get sideways action um, off these parabolic advances. At that point, this market structure would look quite similar to all other initiations of all other bull market. But if we, but if we can't actually maintain above the 21 week EMA, 
um, then I would say Bitcoin is likely entering another bear market looking to push back to the 200 week moving average. And on the weekly chart, this is what I would really want to see is higher lows on the weekly, um, you know, squeezing in with the 21 week EMA. And at that point, you know, looking for a breakout above the 21 week EMA and, you know, initiating that next parabolic advance. This is the ideal situation for the bulls, you know, getting that higher low structure, squeezing in with the 21 week EMA and getting that clear break above the 21 week EMA. This is the ideal situation for the bulls. Now we're going to have to see, um, you know, if we can maintain higher lows along the weekly chart here, we're going to have to find out soon. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you sign up with the CryptoWatch platform, be sure to click that link below and fill out that questionnaire and let the developers know exactly what you want on the CryptoWatch platform, what you think is a must have on the platform. And I will see you all in the next video.